Have you ever wondered why Satan fought so hard for the body of Moses after his death? It's a question that has perplexed many Bible enthusiasts. Let's delve into this enigma. In the biblical narrative, we find a peculiar event where Satan and the archangel Michael engage in a dispute over the body of Moses upon his death. This story, shrouded in mystery, is not found in the five books of Moses, but in the book of Jude in the New Testament. Jude, in his brief letter, makes a rather cryptic reference to this celestial tug of war. Picture this. Moses, the great liberator of the Israelites, the man who stood up to Pharaoh, the receiver of the Ten Commandments, has just passed away. His body lies unclaimed on Mount Nebo. Then, out of the blue, Satan the adversary steps forward to claim it. But he's not unopposed. Standing in his way is none other than the Archangel Michael. Now you might ask, why would Satan be interested in Moses' body? What possible use could the Prince of Darkness have for the mortal remains of God's prophet? It's a conundrum that has intrigued scholars and theologians for centuries. And why would Michael, a celestial being of immense power, stoop to argue with Satan over a mortal's body? Why didn't he just smite Satan with divine power? This dispute, seemingly out of character for the heavenly beings, adds another layer of mystery to this biblical tale. As we unravel this mystery, we will explore the life and death of Moses, the role of Satan, and the significance of their celestial confrontation. We will delve into various theories and interpretations and examine the power of symbolism in biblical narratives. Remember, this is not just a story of a dispute over a body. It's a narrative that holds deeper meanings, symbolic interpretations, and theological implications. It's a tale that invites us to look beyond the surface and explore the profound depths of biblical literature. This mystery is only the beginning of our journey into the depths of biblical enigmas. To understand why Satan desired Moses' body, we first need to understand who Moses was. Moses, a towering figure in the Bible, was more than just a man. His life and his relationship with God place him in a unique position in biblical history. Born in a time of turmoil, Moses was a Hebrew child raised as an Egyptian prince. His life took a dramatic turn when he killed an Egyptian taskmaster in defense of a Hebrew slave. Fleeing into the desert, Moses encountered God in the form of a burning bush. This was the start of a profound relationship between God and Moses, a relationship that would shape the destiny of an entire nation. Moses is revered as a prophet, lawgiver, and leader. He stands out as the man who defied the mighty Pharaoh, led the Israelites out of Egypt, and received the Ten Commandments from God on Mount Sinai. His life was marked by extraordinary events and miracles, from the parting of the Red Sea to the provision of manna from heaven. But Moses was not just a man of action, he was also a man of faith. Despite his initial reluctance and self-doubt, Moses trusted God and obeyed his commands. His faith was tested time and again, yet he remained steadfast. His courage and perseverance in the face of adversity make him a powerful symbol of faith. His relationship with God was so intimate that the Bible states that God spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. This level of closeness with the divine is rare in biblical accounts, underscoring Moses' special standing before God. Moses' death was as extraordinary as his life. The Bible tells us that God himself buried Moses, and no one knows his grave to this day. This divine act of burial signifies Moses' unique status and his importance in God's plan. Moses was not just a man, but a symbol of faith and perseverance. His life and his relationship with God hold key insights into why Satan would desire his body. The story of Moses sets the stage for a cosmic struggle between good and evil a struggle that continues to captivate our imaginations to this day. Now let's shift our focus to the other key player in this story, Satan. This being, often depicted as the embodiment of evil, is a central figure in many religious texts, including the Bible. However, to fully understand the story of Moses and Satan's clash over his body, we must delve a little deeper into who Satan truly is. In the Bible, Satan is not just a symbol of evil or sin, but a real and personal entity. His name means adversary or accuser, and he is often depicted as a tempter, seeking to lead humanity astray 
from the path of righteousness. From the Garden of Eden to the wilderness temptation of Jesus, Satan is a constant force working against the divine plan. In the context of Moses' story, Satan's role is a contentious one. It's important to remember that Satan is not an equal opponent to God, but operates under divine permission. His motivations are complex and multifaceted. Some biblical scholars suggest that Satan's desire for Moses' body was an attempt to derail God's plan for the Israelites. By gaining control over Moses' remains, Satan might have intended to stir idolatry among the Israelites, leading them away from their faith. Others propose that Satan's interest in Moses was more personal. As the lawgiver of Israel, and a man who spoke with God face to face, Moses held a unique status among humanity. Could it be that Satan, in his pride and rebellion, sought to claim this revered prophet's body as a trophy of sorts? Whatever his motivations might have been, it's clear that Satan's actions in this story are consistent with his broader role in the Bible. He is the adversary, the tempter, the one who challenges and tests. He is driven by a desire to disrupt and distort God's plans, to sow discord and doubt. Satan, a being of deceit and rebellion, always had his reasons. But as we'll see in the next scene, his schemes would not go unchallenged. The clash for Moses' body reveals a profound truth about the nature of good and evil and the power of faith. So what exactly happened when Moses died? It's a question that has puzzled scholars and believers alike. According to the book of Deuteronomy, Moses, the great liberator of the Israelites, died alone on Mount Nebo, with no mortal eyes to witness his passing. His body was never found, buried by God himself in a location known only to the divine. Yet the story doesn't end there. The Epistle of Jude, a brief yet impactful book of the New Testament, presents a curious episode. It tells us of a dispute that erupted over Moses' body between none other than the archangel Michael and Satan, the adversary. The verse goes, But when the archangel Michael, contending with the devil, was disputing about the body of Moses, he did not presume to pronounce a blasphemous judgment, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Imagine the scene the serene commanding Archangel Michael, standing firm against the cunning, defiant Satan. Both powerhouses of the spiritual realm, locked in a contest of wills over the mortal remains of God's chosen prophet. Why, you ask? Well, theories abound. Some suggest Satan coveted Moses' body as a trophy, a symbol of his power. Others propose that he sought to lead the Israelites astray by encouraging them to worship Moses' remains, thus violating the commandment against idolatry. In this cosmic tug of war, Michael, the defender of righteousness, invoked the authority of God himself to repel Satan's claim. It's a moment that underscores the hierarchy of the spiritual realm, where even the highest angel does not dare to judge, but instead defers to the ultimate arbiter, the Lord. In the face of such divine authority, Satan's claim over Moses' body was dismissed. The body of the prophet, it seems, was too precious to be left in the hands of the adversary. It was a battle of wills, a clash between light and darkness. The Bible does not explicitly explain why Satan wanted Moses' body. This has led to various theories and interpretations. Whatever the reason, it's clear that the struggle over Moses' body was not an ordinary one. It was a spiritual battle, a clash between good and evil, between the powers of light and the powers of darkness. Some have suggested that Satan wanted Moses' body as a trophy, a symbol of his victory over the human race. After all, Moses was a great leader of God's people, and his corpse could have been a powerful symbol of Satan's dominion. Others have proposed that Satan wanted to use Moses' body to deceive the Israelites. The theory goes that Satan could have reanimated Moses' body and used it to lead the Israelites astray, away from the path of God. This interpretation sees Satan not just as an adversary, but as a deceiver, a master of illusions and false appearances. Another theory suggests that Satan wanted Moses' body out of sheer spite. Moses had been a thorn in Satan's side, a constant reminder of God's power and love for his people. By gaining control of Moses' body, Satan could have sought to desecrate it, to tarnish Moses' legacy and mock God's plans. There's also a theological interpretation that sees the struggle over Moses' body as a reflection of the cosmic battle between God and Satan. 
In this view, Moses represents humanity, caught in the middle of this divine conflict. Satan's attempt to claim Moses' body is seen as an attempt to claim humanity itself, to assert his power over the mortal realm. Some scholars, however, caution against reading too much into this event. They argue that the Bible is often symbolic and metaphorical, and the struggle over Moses' body could be a metaphor for something else entirely. Perhaps it represents the struggle over Moses' legacy, or the spiritual battle that each of us must face in our own lives. And let's not forget the theory that Satan wanted Moses' body simply because it was a direct challenge to God's authority. After all, God himself had buried Moses in an unknown location, perhaps to prevent any form of idolatry. By attempting to claim Moses' body, Satan was directly defying God's will. Theories abound, yet the mystery remains. Could it be that the struggle for Moses' body was symbolic? This question opens up a whole new perspective on the narrative. Some scholars believe that stories in the Bible, particularly the ones that seem a little more mysterious or hard to comprehend, are often laden with symbolism. In this context, let's consider the possibility that the clash over Moses' body was a metaphor, a symbol for deeper truths about good, evil, and humanity's relationship with God. Moses, a beacon of righteousness and obedience, could represent humanity's striving for goodness, our innate desire to align with divine will. His body, then, could symbolize the earthly vessel that carries this aspiration, this spirit of goodness. Satan, on the other hand, as the adversary, might embody the forces of evil that constantly seek to claim this vessel, to divert it from its divine path. This struggle might not only be about possession, but about influence, the eternal tug of war between good and evil that takes place within every human heart. It's a reminder that while we are in this earthly body, we are subject to these opposing forces, and it's our choices that determine which force prevails. Furthermore, this narrative could also symbolize God's protective love for humanity. Despite the adversary's attempts to claim Moses' body, the archangel Michael, God's representative, stands firm. This could be a metaphor for God's unwavering protection, his assurance that he will not let evil claim those who strive to walk in his ways. As we delve deeper into these possibilities, we begin to see that this story might not be about a physical struggle over a body at all. Instead, it might be a profound metaphorical representation of the human condition, our spiritual journey and God's enduring love for us. In the world of the Bible, nothing is ever as simple as it seems. This phrase beautifully encapsulates the potential depth and complexity of biblical narratives. What seems like a strange, inexplicable story might in fact hold profound wisdom and insight into the human experience and our relationship with the divine. As we conclude, it's clear that the mystery of Satan's fight for Moses' body intrigues us for a reason. This tale, nestled in the pages of the Bible, is a fascinating blend of spiritual symbolism and profound mystery. We began our journey by introducing the enigma that has been the subject of our video. The dispute over Moses' body, a puzzling event that piques our curiosity and invites us to delve deeper into the annals of biblical history. We then took a closer look at the two main characters of this saga, Moses, the revered prophet, and Satan, the eternal adversary. Their epic clash over Moses' remains serves as a vivid illustration of the cosmic battle between good and evil, a theme central to many religious texts. As we ventured further, we explored various theories and interpretations surrounding this mystery, from the idea of Moses' body as a symbol of authority and power to the notion of Satan's attempt to derail the Israelites' faith, we examined different perspectives trying to make sense of this enigmatic event. In our discussion, we also highlighted the power of symbolism inherent in this story. The body of Moses, seen as a symbol of the law and Satan's desire for it, possibly representing the perversion of divine authority, reminds us of the deeper meanings that biblical stories often carry. While we may not have definitive answers, the quest for understanding continues to inspire us to delve deeper into the Bible's timeless stories. Every mystery unraveled, every symbol decoded, brings us one step closer to comprehending the profound wisdom embodied in these ancient narratives. The tale of Moses and Satan is but one of many, yet its enigma holds a unique allure. 
The beauty of investigating biblical mysteries lies not just in seeking answers, but also in the journey of exploration itself. A journey that invites us to ponder, question, and grow in our understanding. So as we wrap up, let's remember that in the realm of the Bible, every story, every mystery, serves as a beacon, guiding us on our quest for knowledge and wisdom.